Hello again, Geometry people. Today is the second lesson on trapezoids. Today we're going to talk about the median of a trapezoid. The line segment that connects the midpoints of the legs of a trapezoid is called the median. So here's our trapezoid. Okay, so if we say T is the midpoint of RP and U is the midpoint of SQ, then TU is the median. What does it mean to be the midpoint? It means that if this segment right here, PT, is 3, it means that RT is also 3. It means if the whole, mid, the whole segment SQ is 10, that it means this is 5 and that is 5. That's what it means to be the midpoint. The median, however, has a couple interesting properties. The median of a trapezoid is parallel to the two bases. So these three lines are parallel. Now we're going to use the properties of parallel lines to do this question right here. Angle P is 40. That angle right there is 40 degrees. Okay. What is angle PTU? PTU is that angle right there. PTU and 40, if you remember properties of parallel lines, and you can think of this as the transversal, these are alternate interior angles. They're going to be supplementary. So what is 180? Minus 40, PTU is 140. Okay, what about RTU? RTU is right there. Again, with properties of parallel lines, if this is a transversal, 40 and that angle, if you remember, are called corresponding angles, and they're congruent. So this angle is 40. And lastly, we're trying to find angle R. Well, these are interior angles on the same side of the transversal, so that's also going to be 140. If you recall when we did parallel lines, in order to simplify things, I said the angles are either equal or supplementary. You can kind of go by how they look. If they look equal, they are. If they don't look equal, they're supplementary. So the median or a trapezoid is parallel to the two bases. There's another interesting property about the median of a trapezoid. Let's call this property two. The length of the median of a trapezoid is the average of the lengths of the two bases. Well, how do you find the average of two things? You add them up and divide by two. So let's say SR is six, and let's say PQ is 12, and we want to find TU. Well, if SR is 6, and PQ is 12, and TU is the average, we do 6 plus 12 and divide by 2. 6 plus 12 is 18, divide by 2 is 9. That, by the way, is called splitting the difference. If you have two numbers and you want to split the difference, you take the number that's midway between them, which is also called the average. You notice 6 to 9 is 3, and then 9 to 12 is 3. It splits the difference. Now, what if we're given a problem like this? What if I'm given TU is 7, and SR is 4, and I want to find PQ. Okay, so let me erase these numbers and do this problem. TU is 7, SR is 4, we want to find PQ. Well, I know that TU, the median, is the average of these two. So if I put an X on the PQ, it will be 4 plus X divided by 2 is equal to 7. 
Now, how do we solve something like that? Well, the very first thing you do is you multiply each side by 2. These 2's cancel out, and you get 4 plus x is 14, and then you get x is equal to 10. Let's do another problem with this property that involves algebra. SR is x. PQ, the other base, is x plus 10. The median is 17. Find x. Well, if you add up the two bases, x plus x plus 10, divide by 2, that's going to equal the median. Take the average of the two bases, you get the median. Now, there's several ways you can do this, but what I recommend as your first step is let's get rid of that fraction. People don't like fractions, so let's get rid of it. Times each side of the equation by 2. Well, over here you get 34, but what happens over here is the 2's cancel. That's why we multiply by 2. So we end up getting just the x plus x plus 10 equals 34. And let's solve that, combine like terms. Minus 10. Divide by 2. And you get x is 12. Well, let's see then. We get the top is 12. The bottom is 22, if I plug 12 in, and 17 is midway between 12 and 22. 5 here and 5 there. Yes, it checked. X is equal to 12. So the median of a trapezoid has two properties. One, it's parallel to the two bases, and the second, the length is the average of the lengths of the two bases.